What is up, everybody? Azaro here. And I just want to talk to you guys about the election. Now, I know a lot of people are disappointed with America's choice. But even with that disappointment, I don't think there is much shock and awe. I don't think there's much surprise that Donald Trump won the presidency. And for those who may be confused as to why... Um, Donald Trump won. I even said it on my Facebook like hours before, you know, it was finished that Donald Trump was going to win it. Not It's not that I wanted him to win it, but he definitely was going to win it. And I'm going to explain to you guys the same thing on my Facebook. I'm going to explain to you guys uh, the same thing that I said on my Facebook prior to him winning the, uh, uh, the presidency. Okay. So understand that every presidency up until now it's always been like this good cop, bad cop uh, scenario. That's the word I'm looking for. It's always been a good cop, bad cop scenario where you had the quote-unquote Republicans who are the bad guys and the Democrats who are the good guys, right? There was always like, like the narrative. You had the good cop versus the bad cop. And regardless of which side you on, you were either going to vote for the good cop or the bad cop. 100%. You know? So, regardless of who didn't vote, the ones who did vote were either going to pick either or. Right? But this election that was very special, in a sense. Not because of, the, of like who the top two candidates were. <laughs> it wasn't special because of that, because those two motherfuckers are special. They are retarded. Both Trump and Hillary Clinton can vote. Both of them can suck a dick. But, oh... Uh, <clears throat> But yeah, uh, the reason why I said this one was special, because this is the first time we had a one versus four, like, split. And what I mean by that is, is like, last minute, you started seeing people like Jill Stein, um, guys like Gary Johnson, who represent the Green Party and the Libertarian Party, uh, respectively. Um, and a lot of people caught wind that you can write in Bernie Sanders at the last minute as well in certain states that he was qualified and registered as a write-in. So, on one hand, you have the Republicans, right? Who all they had was Donald Trump to vote for versus everybody who wanted to vote against Trump. They weren't unified in voting for Hillary because they everybody didn't like Hillary. So you had, on one side, you just had, you know, Donald Trump. On the other side, you had Bernie Sanders as a write-in, you had Jill Stein, you had Gary Johnson, and you had Hillary Clinton. You know, those are your options. So you had four options versus the one option, right? So because you had either or, you know, under a normal scenario, maybe Hillary would have took it. But because of Hillary's, you know, past and what she's been known to do, if you don't, if, only if you pay attention to, like, you know, social media and like third party media, because uh, mainstream media isn't really showing everything that I mean, of course, they showed me that when she got served that subpoena uh, like when the FBI got served that subpoena but they didn't show all the information that people find uh, you know, online after they did they dig in and, and what have you like, they don't show all that on mainstream media. So, so, so you got to go to third-party media, like Facebook uh, or, like, the live streams on YouTube, the people who can get, like, this type of information and they can give it to you because mainstream media isn't. But, all, but, but because of all the email scandals and all that and the dead bodies that turned up because of the email scandal of Hillary, of Hillary Clinton, a lot of people just didn't feel she, they felt she was corrupt. So everybody who was voting against Trump wasn't going to vote for her, basically. And the only three, the only other three options they had was Gary Johnson, uh, Jill Stein, and the, and the Bernie Sanders right there. So that's four different, you know, people that votes are getting uh, split between. So basically, this is just a scenario where, you know, the people who were behind the bad cop they were unified, and the people who were behind, I guess you could say, the good cops they weren't unified on one person. You know, the people who were against the bad. You know, who were voting Republican, they were unified on, on one person. So 100% of their votes went to the went to one person, as opposed to 
having to split votes between four different people, potentially. So, looking at that logic, that's why I said what I said. So, it's definitely no surprise that uh, that he won it. I mean, at this point, the only thing you can say is that looking back on on George Bush and seeing all the hilarity that we had to get from that, and I do mean hilarity because a lot of the shit that George Bush did was very funny and a shit ton of parodies got made and you know what I mean? I mean, in a sense, I'm looking forward to however long this man is going to be in office. And I do mean however long because we don't know. He probably get impeached pretty soon um, and things like that. I mean, we can't just sit there and ignore all the things that he has said about, you know, immigrants and, you know, black people. Hillary said some fucked up shit about black people too. That, that like we're not gonna excuse that. That's why a lot of people didn't vote for her. You know, she was just as looking bigoted as fucking Trump. She just wear a bunch of pantsuits and with a smile on her face and think that that should get a pass. No, but you know, I think a lot of people knew that Jill Stein and Gary Johnson didn't have a chance to win. Like they only had like what five percent, like seven percent of the electoral votes I think or like the state vote I don't know but they only had like 5 to 5 and 7 percent of the votes so they weren't nowhere near on the boards to even compete to what Trump and Hillary were doing so I think the people that voted for them because I voted for Jill Stein I'm not going to going to lie she the closest thing to Bernie Sanders that we had the only thing that could have made her any more of Bernie Sanders is that she had to be Bernie Sanders but I think a couple benefits are going to happen because of this election. The first benefit is that people are waking up that there are other parties out there. You know, I think people are going to look into them um, over the years. Like the Libertarian and the, and the Green Party. Uh, and they also got the Patriot Party, I believe that's what they call it. Uh, but yeah, they have like several different political parties out there that aren't going to get that that major uh on promotion because they don't have like the like the big companies backing them up you know the big companies that they wanted the option to be either or they, they don't want the the green party the libertarian party and these other parties that aren't that, that they aren't backing to be in in the limelight so you know jill stein and gary johnson they primarily were on like third party media they weren't on mainstream media so a lot of people that would have voted for them probably didn't even know they existed you know, so they didn't get enough exposure to even try to oppose a threat to either Hillary or Trump. So that was one factor. But I think people are opening up to the fact that there are other parties out there that, you know, like we have other options besides just Democrat and Republican. You know, even if you never knew about them before, you know about them now, you know. Um, and, um... Also, I think it's going to bring, you know, even though I think it's going to be some shit because things always get worse before they get better. I honestly think the the, the one benefit from Donald Trump being elected, because when we look at it, all of his rallies leading up to now, there was a bunch of racists and bigots and a bunch of violence at all these, uh, you know, you know, riots, throwing black people out, blowing, you know, tossing out, you know, Muslims and things like that uh, with such violence and, you know, hatred and shit. I think this is just going to bring that sickness that is racism. Like, I think it's just going to bring it to the surface. That way it can get taken care of in kind. I think that's the one benefit because every, you know, and often, let me just say this for the record. How come every time you get on these racists online, every time you get to these bigots and these racists online, they so quick to point out that, oh, well, the, the Ku Klux Klan was created by the Dixiecrats back in the day. I'm pretty sure that if you ask every racist Ku Klux Klan member or white supremacist member, what political party do they affiliate themselves with they're going to tell you Republican so regardless if they were started by the Democrats or not they're Republican now so all that shit is you know they're over there so I mean I don't consider myself to be a Democrat I'm just saying like 
you know, you know, I, I call myself a friend of the people. That's what I call, consider myself to be. Like I'm a friend of the people. I don't, I don't consider myself to be a Democrat or Republican. If anything, I'm a, um, like if anything, I'm with the Green Party. You know, but looking at it like this in California, like the weed got uh, legalized, so <laughs> so I guess people can smoke and not have to worry about shit. Uh, but yeah, it's just, um, you know, it's just a bunch of, uh, like there's always, um, some blessings in the struggle. You know, if you believe in blessings or whatever, there's always something good in the bad. You know what I mean? And you just got to have an open mind to see it when it's there. And even with this bullshit with Trump being elected president, you know, like the DNC, they have their part to play in this shit because, Shit got rigged to where, where Hillary won, you know, like the Democratic uh, side of things. And, you know, and they rigged so that Bernie wouldn't get it. And that's kind of where the whole email thing came in because there was a lot of emails that got deleted that showed that, you know, there was some rigging going on. But we can only see what happens with, with that scenario. I think the FBI said that they weren't charging her either or some shit. I don't know, man, but they're going to have to... They're going to have to figure that shit out because to, to, to say that Melina Trump or Melina Trump, whatever what the fuck, they call her Melina because she's just as ugly as that fucking bitch in Mortal Kombat. Yeah, she look cute, but as soon as she take that mask off, <laughs> you know, like, you know, you're fucked. And the mask been been, pu been pulled <gasps> off of her. So, <laughs> yeah, like we're already seeing this bit. Like we're already seeing the sharp teeth, and we don't want nothing, nothing to do with that. But, um, but yeah, like our first lady is a fucking whore, literally. Our first lady is a fucking nude, you know, like a, a lady that's been taking photo shoots in a nude, that's been in all kind of bullshit, and it's like, you know, she don't have a fucking degree. All she did was marry a rich guy. <laughs> She shot news for a magazine in various photo shoots, you know, to where they looked like they were performing sexual acts. What other women in there? You know what I'm saying? Like, the whole narrative of this shit is just funny. The more you think about it, like, the funnier it gets. And it's just, like, it's stupid. But it was inevitable because more people were unified and voted for Trump than they were for Hillary. You know, so, like, you had Gary Johnson, Bernie Sanders right in, Jill Stein, and Hillary Clinton. And, the, the, and votes were split amongst the four of them for the ones that were voting against Trump. So, I mean, it is what it is at this point. So, I don't know uh, what's going to happen next. Um, I think a lot of people are trying to, you know, I guess encourage for Donald Trump's impeachment, which I don't think would be a bad thing. Um you know, I, I, and again, on the flip side of that, I, I guess people can look up the impeachment process because I don't think too many people hit to it um, and how it works. But Donald Trump can be impeached. He can. But of course, they're going to look at it from the standpoint of how well does he perform, I guess, within like his first or second year of his presidency. If he fucks a lot of shit up, because I'm pretty sure it was a hoax. I, or at least I hope it was a hoax. But after Donald Trump got elected, like a bunch of stock markets crashed. You know, like the stock market crash. At least that was the report. Well, like, I don't know if it was a hoax or not, but like, I don't believe everything that I read. I actually like to, you know, do my research and actually see if the stock market crashed as bad as they try to make it out to be. Um, which I don't, I don't really think it's, a, it's that bad, but I don't see how somebody... Becoming president can, you know, just plummet stock markets. I'm pretty sure they don't work like that, but I don't know. But yeah, man, that's just something I wanted to get my thoughts on. Um, even though this Donald Trump being president is a bad thing, I think some good can come out of it. Like I said, it's bringing all the racism out the woodworks, and that's always been like an underlying sickness that America always knew that we had. A lot of people just wanted to ignore it because it didn't directly affect them. Um, but like I said, like that's always like the disease and the sickness that's underneath the skin of America. You know, and 
with Donald Trump being president, I think the benefit of him being president is that, you know, seeing that, like the turnouts at the rallies and everything like that, we can only assume that they're going to be, you know, that sickness is going to get risen to the top to where we can finally deal with it, you know, face to face. And I, I'm expecting there to be some riots. I'm expecting there to be some fights. I mean, hell, after Donald Trump won the presidency, uh, they had a bunch of Mexicans and, and, and white people, you know, fighting each other. Of course, they had white people and other white people fighting each other as well. I wouldn't be surprised if there were some blacks in there, but I didn't see none of them in the videos. <coughs> but, but, yeah. Like, it's definitely going to be some shit. Like, it, it's always going to get worse before it gets better. So, like, we're going to see where this goes. I, I'm not expecting it to go to a good place. I think the end result is going to be something good happening. But the steps getting there is just going to be so fucking troublesome and, and fucked up that, you know, I don't think anybody is going to like, you know, the road to getting to that place. You know, like I said, like there's a benefit to him being president. And I think that, that the racism, that the closet racists are finally going to come out the closet with all their pride and everything. And you know what I mean? Like, this has just been like a fucked up election, man. All like all the way around. It, it was just a fucked up election. I don't see how our options was bad and worse. You know what I mean? Like, whichever way you want to, whichever one you want to pick is worse or bad or whoever, it's bad or worse. So, you don't really, I think in the end more people wanted Hillary to win, but they just didn't like the fact that she was who she is. You know, like, she just, she, like, she, she basically bullshitted her way to the top. And on top of all the other shit she got behind her, like, it was just too much, man. It was like, we were literally fucked either way. I know a lot of people say that, you know, but Trump, uh, Trump is just a fucked up businessman and a racial bigot. And he doesn't hide the shit. He actually hides it in plain sight, which is fucked up. You know, how you hide something and hide it in plain sight. Like, put it in a position where people would see it, but they don't acknowledge that they see it. And you have that right now, where people are just in denial. Even when he clearly said things and incited racial riots at his rallies, people just don't want to, like he could say something this moment and an hour later, which he did do in the presidential debate. Um, I think it was the last presidential debate. He said something and then like an hour later, he said that he didn't say that. Like, motherfucker, they got you on camera. I don't know why they don't just play the shit back and just say, see, you did say it. <laughs> you know, like, I don't know, man, but that's all I wanted to say. I just wanted to touch on it. Um, you know, let's just see what happened next. I don't know if it's going to be an impeachment. I don't know if it's going to be an assassination attempt. There's a lot of people talking about they're just going to snipe him and as much as I want that to happen, I'd rather the man just be impeached. I don't, you know, you know if you're going to snipe somebody, like, like, just snipe all the, all the Ku Klux Klan and racist members that you see out there. It's <laughs> like, snipe them motherfuckers. Don't snipe Trump. Like, I don't want the narrative to get to other countries that, you know, I, I mean, I don't know, maybe, you know, never mind, I'm going to keep that to myself. <laughs> but, but yeah, like, I don't want the narrative to get to other countries that we, you know, assassinate our leaders. Because when it becomes, because when we get a leader that we do like and see that, you know, has a lot of good potential like Obama did, um, you know, we don't want nobody assassinating them. Like we don't want to assassinate the presidents becoming like the new thing, you know. So we just need to get him out of the office, Donald Trump. So whether he's in there for one year, two years, three years, or his full first term. You know, we got to vote against, you know, a lot of these measures and shit. Because a lot of things that he, he's going to do is, are, are pretty much going to get passed. You know, because the Republicans got not only the presidency, but they got the House of Representatives and they got the Senate. You know, by the majority. So, any opposing presidents, they have little or no effect. Because it takes the majority of vote for a lot of things to pass. And... It seems like they're going to pass with flying colors, no, no matter how ridiculous they're going to be. You know, so... It is what it is, man, so... Uh, 
I hope you guys keep up to date um, throughout this presidency for however long it lasts for him. You know, look up the Green Party, look up the Libertarian Party, look, look up the Patriot Party, look up other options so that next time, you know, we can actually get people other than a Democrat or Republican that we feel are more worthy than, than those two. So thank you guys for watching this piece. Uh, I didn't want it to be this long, but it's informative. I, I think I made some good points. And uh, yeah, yes, I'll see you guys later.